I had a chance to talk to the prominent Hong Kong businessman and pro-democracy advocate before he was sentenced by the Chinese Communist Party to spend a long time in jail. His son, Sebastian Lai, joins me this morning. Good morning, Sebastian. How is your father, and when did you last talk to him? Uh, good morning, and thank you for having me on your show. Um, so, <clears throat> as a result of speaking out on my father's behalf, I had to go back to Hong Kong. So, last time I spoke to him was uh, almost four years ago, um, right before he was arrested. They don't allow you to have contact with your father at all? I, I can't go back safely to Hong Kong, so I haven't seen him in, in, in person, unfortunately. Um, but, you know, okay. from my understanding, he... he he, he seems to be, uh, you know, he, he knows he's doing the right thing. His faith obviously uh, 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 gives him a lot of strength. But, you know, given his age at 77 the, and the conditions he's held in, um, you know, I, I do worry a lot about his, uh, his, his well-being. Sebastian Lai, for the benefit of the audience who didn't hear your father on my show four years ago, can you review the facts of his case and why he is in prison and why the Chinese Communist Party is afraid of him? Yeah, so so my father uh, um, was the founder and editor of um, Next uh, uh, Media, Next Digital, which had Apple Daily and Next uh, Magazine, which were the biggest uh, Chinese publications in uh, in Hong Kong and, and, and Taiwan. But more importantly, they were pro democracy publications. And so, in uh, two thousand and twenty, when they passed the national security law, as opposed to uh, uh, um, in um, retaliation to the pro democracy protests in Hong Kong. Um, he was one of the uh, main targets, uh, and they um, arrested him, uh, arrested his uh, uh, colleagues, sent uh, uh, 200 um, uh, cops to, to, to raid the newspapers, and then sent another 500 the second, the second time, um, and essentially closed down his business, uh, and he's been in, held in solitary confinement uh, uh, for the last uh, uh, almost four years now. Um, you know, he was denied bail. Uh, there's been a, a a litany of spurious charges, uh, just just essentially to, to 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 keep him and punish him for for standing up for the freedoms of the people of Hong Kong. Um, and now he, he uh, has his natural. Yeah. He was sentenced to sixty nine months, if I am correct about that. When would you expect his release? in the ordinary course of, quote, Chinese justice, close quote. Yeah, so he was sentenced for uh, five years and nine months for a lease violation, uh, which is crazy because nobody had ever, you know, nobody goes to jail for a lease violation, uh, even if he was guilty of a lease violation. He wasn't. Um, <clears throat> and now he faces his national security law uh, trial, which has just been, uh, um, it was meant to start in 2020, uh, 2022, sorry delayed until the end of 2023 and then uh now it's uh it, it started in, at the end of 2023 and now they delayed it for an additional six months and that carries a maximum sentence of uh life in prison unfortunately but given his age even a five to ten year sentence is, is practically the same uh sebastian Lai, i'm old enough to remember when dissidents like Solzhenitsyn and Natan Sharansky were freed by the Soviets because of pressure from the West. Is there sufficient pressure from the West on Xi Jinping to free your father? That, that definitely needs uh, to be more pressure, though we've been incredibly grateful for the support that we've been getting. You know, Hong Kong tries to tell the rest of the world that they're still open for business, that it's still a good place to, to, to invest, that they, that they, you know, if you believe it, they still tell you that they have the free press. Um, and obviously, all of that is a lie, and they can't keep having my father and other political prisoners in jail uh, uh, um, and, 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 and tell that lie to the rest of them, assume that people are, are, are stupid or, or, or blind to the facts just because Hong Kong is a financial center. Um, so pressure from, from, from you know, democracy, democratic countries is incredibly important to tell Hong Kong that these people are in, in, are in prison for the values that we, we believe in. Uh, that we, 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 we fight for, and uh, they should be released uh, immediately. Uh, Sebastian Lai, there's a free Jimmy Lai campaign. It's a hashtag, it's a t-shirt, it's all the kind of things one would expect. But I haven't seen a president of the United States speak out. I haven't seen a British prime minister. Have I missed it? Did anyone say free Jimmy Lai to Xi Jinping and I just missed it? So, so um, the, uh, the United States government 
uh, have you know, were one of the first uh, countries to call out for my, I think the first country actually to call out for my father's immediate re immediate release. Uh, you know, he's and we've been very grateful for that. The UK. So my father is a British citizen. He, he's only a British citizen. Ha have been a bit slower on the uptake, unfortunately. Uh, um, but but they seem, from my understanding, with the new administration, they seem to be on board and um, they 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 are speaking to to China about this, from my understanding. Uh, but Obviously, given his age, it is it is a pretty urgent. Um, it is it is very urgent because you know for a seventy seven year old, soon to be seventy seven year old in solitary confinement, uh, he he could pass away at any point, unfortunately. And I I'm sure he would leave the country if that happened. I'm not. I, I was in Hong Kong during the relative freedom of the post handover pre crackdown era. I'm never going back, and I don't think anyone should as a tourist. You're giving money to a, an evil government that imprisons people like Jimmy Lai. When I spoke to your father, he was a devout Catholic. Has the Pope spoken out about Jimmy Lai, Sebastian? Uh, n not for my understanding, uh, unfortunately. Um, but I think his faith in God is, is, is what keeps him um, strong, you know, knowing that he's, he's doing right by the people of Hong Kong, but also by his by his soul, I think is something that strengthens him. So, um, you know, that's how, even though the Pope doesn't speak out on his behalf, unfortunately, I think that's how the, the church has, has really been his, his, his guiding light. The literature of prisoners, from Solzhenitsyn to um, Amanda Valladares, who was a Cuban dissident of Vladimir Bukowski and other Soviet, it's very moving and profound. I don't know if there's a dissident movement anymore. I, I just, other than free Jimmy Lai, one individual, is there a dissident movement for freeing political prisoners in the world that makes a difference, Sebastian Lai? Um, <clears throat> I mean, I, I, I've, um, I mean, it's, it's a very good question. Uh, to be honest, it, it, it um, you know, like the, the, the bravery that individuals like, you know, my father and, and, and the others that you've mentioned shown, um, remind us why the values that we, we have here, the, you know, the freedoms that we have here is so important. So, um, you know, I, I really wish there was more uh, attention on the case, um, th though we've been grateful for the attention that we've been getting. But I, I, I you know, I, I, I echo your, your question. I, I, is, is there more? I'm sure there is, but it just seems like it's, there's, there's less and less in the, uh, attention on the individual nowadays. I'm astonished. When I was your age, uh, everyone knew the names of the prominent dissidents and what they stood for. I don't ever see your father mentioned, and I don't know if it's because of his Catholicism or afraid to offend Xi or a business interest. Or I have no idea why. Can you tell me about the conditions of your father? It's solitary confinement is hard, but I don't know about the Chinese gulag in the way that we knew even after a uh, uh, Khrushchev secret speech, we kind of got a glimpse of the gulag. What conditions are you, is your father being held under? Do you have any idea the name of the prison? So, so yeah, so he's in uh, prison in Hong Kong at the moment. Uh, and um, actually, um, the Associated Press recently had a, uh, well, recently, two years ago, uh, uh, took, managed to take pictures of him. Um, and, you know, he, he looked older, thinner, more, 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 more more feeble um and they they reported that he was held in solitary confinement um now, now he's been held in solitary confinement for more than a thousand uh, uh 300 days now and it's it is a, a a form of torture uh, uh and he has also been uh denied communion from my understanding as of uh, oh. recently um and you know because they know how much his faith means to him and i think it's it's another way to sort of uh, try to try to weaken the man. Try to 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 to, to uh, make him question yeah. his his beliefs. Everyone in the world should be praying for Jimmy Lai, but especially Catholics. And more to the point, everyone ought to be involved in the campaign to free him, especially President Biden, President Trump, Vice President Harris. I wish it had come up at the debate uh, because Jimmy Lai is a representative of freedom and has put it all on the line for everyone. Sebastian Lai, thank you. Please keep coming back. And I tell everyone out there, follow uh, the hashtag Free Jimmy Lai, the 77-year-old uh, uh, entrepreneur and pro-democracy activist of Hong Kong is, is put all on the line for all of us who 
who value our liberty, and we appreciate your joining us this morning, Sebastian. Uh, be safe and God go with you. Thank you.